Patches of unknown matter in the universe are moving at extremely fast speeds in a uniform direction, attracting everything to them, which cannot be explained by any of the known gravitational forces in the observable universe. It sounds terrifying, something from outside the universe. An unimaginable force is pulling every galaxy towards it. What cosmic physics monstrosity could it be, and will it destroy every galaxy, including our own? The universe is divided into two parts, the observable universe, which has a diameter of about 93 billion light years and 13.7 billion light years in every direction. But the actual universe has no fixed diameter. One could argue that, due to its flat geometry, it extends indefinitely in all directions. But we can only see a comparatively minuscule cone, defined as the region in which enough time has passed for light from the most distant sources to reach Earth. We know something exists well outside our cosmic horizon, we just don't know what it is. However, simply because something does not leave a visible trace to the naked eye does not mean its presence cannot be inferred. Consider black holes. These infinitely dense objects emit no light, hence the black part of the name. But we can identify them by observing how they interact with their surroundings. The same is true of dark matter the mysterious substance that accounts for a large portion of the universe's mass. And gravity is one of the most effective tools we have for studying the unseen. It has applications ranging from finding exoplanets to decoding what happens at the edge of a black hole. No matter how advanced our visual instruments are, there is a fundamental limit to how much of the universe we can ever observe. The universe is estimated to have formed 13.7 billion years ago. So even if light began traveling toward us immediately after the Big Bang, the most it could ever travel is 13.7 billion light years. There may be sections of the universe that are further away, and we don't know how big the entire universe is, but we can only see as far as light can travel over the complete age of the universe. Scientists found a mysterious flow by studying some of the universe's largest structures, massive clusters of galaxies. The mysterious flow that could have been caused by a disaster in the early universe, which set in motion a chain reaction that took billions of years to complete. It could be something terrifyingly massive lying outside the visible universe's edge, tugging at everything with its almost imperceptible gravity. These massive clusters are made up of thousands of galaxies, as well as extremely hot gas that emits X-rays. Scientists can study cluster movement by observing the interaction of X-rays with the cosmic microwave background CMB, which is residual radiation from the Big Bang. The kinematic sunyev zeldovic sz effect occurs when X-rays scatter photons in the CMB, shifting its temperature. This effect had not previously been observed as a result of galaxy clusters, but a team of researchers led by Alexander Kashlinsky, an astrophysicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, discovered it. After studying a massive catalog of 700 clusters, spanning up to 6 billion light years, or half the universe, they compared this catalog to NASA's Wilkinson Microwave Anastrophe Probe WMAP Satellites Map of the CMB. They discovered that the clusters were traveling at nearly 2 million miles per hour toward a region of the sky between the constellations Centaurus and Vela. This motion is distinct from the universe's outward expansion, which is accelerated by a force known as dark energy. Motion It is what drives the universe because everything is in constant motion. Planets not only orbit stars, but stars also rotate around galaxies that spin across the universe. We hope you're not motion sick though. These clusters of massive galaxies in which we are insignificant specks are constantly moving away from each other as the universe expands, as we know from the Big Bang Theory. Because the universe formed at 13.7 billion light years, our observable universe is only 13.7 billion light years. According to Hubble Flow Theory, as the universe continues to expand beyond its current size of 13.7 billion light years, the expansion should be equal in all directions. The scientists concluded that whatever is driving the cluster's movements must exist outside of the known universe. According to inflation theory, the universe we see is simply a small bubble of space-time that expanded rapidly after the Big Bang. There may be parts of the universe beyond this bubble that we can't see, 
Space-time may be very different in these regions, and it most likely isn't. They contain stars and galaxies that only exist due to the unique density pattern of mass in our bubble. It could include massive structures much larger than anything we can see in our own universe. These structures are thought to be tugging on the galaxy clusters, causing the dark flow. Astronomers have been debating whether or not dark flow exists. And if it does, what causes it? Those who do not believe have good reasons. It is not explained by the distribution of matter in the universe. Those who believe that dark flow is real, however, are continuing to document and study this mysterious phenomenon. There are numerous theories about possible causes. One theory holds that some mass that existed prior to cosmic inflation, when the universe expanded beyond its original compressed state, had such a massive impact on the matter of our multiverse that some galaxy clusters are still drawn to it. Whatever the cause, many astronomers today agree that studying CMB maps shows parts of massive clusters of galaxies moving at about 2 million miles per hour toward a point between the constellations Centaurus and Hydra. While this would not normally be significant, they are moving in a path that is distinct from the expansion of the universe itself. A separate theory of universe inflation proposes that the universe we see is only a small bubble of space-time that rapidly expanded after the Big Bang, and that there may be other parts of deep space beyond our bubble that we cannot see. Space-time may be very different in these regions beyond the bubble from how we perceive it. Furthermore, it would most likely lack stars and galaxies, possibly containing supermassive structures much larger than anything in our universe. Supporters of this theory believe that these supermassive structures are the source of dark flow, attracting galaxy clusters from beyond our bubble. Koshlinsky has stated that NASA's study has given substantial evidence for the existence of dark flow. The researchers are currently expanding their catalog of galaxy clusters in order to track the dark flow to roughly twice its current distance. This could be an interesting study to follow, as continued evidence of dark flow may encourage other researchers to investigate not only dark flow, but also how the universe existed before the Big Bang and what might exist beyond our bubble. Everything in our universe is always in motion. Planets revolve around stars. Within galaxies, stars dance. In general, galaxies are moving further apart from one another. This is the expansion of the universe. This expansion is uniform, based on our best observation and understanding of the universe's evolution. It is the same in every direction, and when you get to large enough scales, galaxies just move out with no preference for direction. However, at smaller scales, some very interesting dynamics can emerge. The Milky Way, for example, is on a crash course with our closest neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. Our galaxies will collide in a gigantic collision in about 5 billion years. And if our descendants are still alive to witness the spectacle, it will be quite spectacular. On top of that, both the Milky Way Galaxy and Andromeda are en route to the Virgo Cluster, a closely packed cosmic city containing over a thousand galaxies. There's even more. The Milky Way, Andromeda, the Virgo Cluster, and all the other galaxies in our neighborhood are all moving in the same direction as an even larger cluster, the Norma Cluster, which is located in a region of space known as the Great Attractor. This is where things get complicated. The further we extend our observations, the more difficult it becomes to pinpoint the exact movement of the galaxies. To make matters worse, astronomers are very proficient in determining the movement of galaxies toward or away from us based on the transition of light from galaxies. But calculating movement in other directions is much more difficult. As a result, we must rely on computer modeling to make an accurate prediction. While the majority of observations of the larger universe have supported the expanding uniformly in all directions theory, some inconsistencies have emerged. Observations have revealed a small, subtle, blink and you will miss it movement. Many galaxies appear to be moving in a specific direction rather than uniformly outwards. That pretty much concludes this video guys. Let us know of your opinions and suggestions in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. And remember, make sure to subscribe to this channel with bell notifications on if you enjoy watching our content. See you guys in the next one.